I finally decided to um, work on my car a little bit and I got a wide body for it. This is a, a pandem kit, um, a knockoff of a pandem kit that I bought on eBay um, and the quality of it is just trash, <laughs> complete garbage. And it will need to be modified a lot um, since it's an M3 wide body and my car is not that wide. So the fitment's okay. Um, I might need M3 side skirts to, to fit it better. So um, we'll see. We'll see how it fits. Um, and the wheels um, that I'm going to be running are. Uh, they are Form 10 I believe They're on eBay, they're like $700 They are 18 by uh, 10 and a half Square plus, plus 15 offset The front fits perfectly with the kit um, But the back Will need a spacer And uh, I'm gonna be running a 2 inch spacers in the back Because I can't afford proper wheel for the car and since the budget build um, they'll work for me and maybe in the future if I have more money I'll update my wheels alright so right now we're going to put the front flare on just with uh, self tapping screws we are gonna see how it, how it fits and how much modifications to the flare we actually need to do So first flare is on and um, I used self tapping screws for now um, and plan is to actually use a bando and make it flow into the body so so like it looks like a, the whole fender is just a one solid piece and the bottom doesn't fit at all. So I'm gonna trim it, the flare, to make it fit better around the side skirt. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna trim the side skirt off because it does not fit at all. Um, and this thing's not flexible so I can't really like force it in. Um, Alright, so um, when I said I was going to cut it, um, that's what I did. I did not want it to go on a side skirt, just flow with the fender. And actually, it worked out pretty good. 
when I said I was gonna make it flash um, and you know uh, body fill it into into the body I'm gonna have to sand this as as thin as I can um, and put some I guess fiberglass over top of it and I'm thinking about leaving the screws in and going over top of them just for extra strength in the material and I don't know what to do about this um, there's a huge gap but either fill it in or just cover the whole thing completely or maybe leave as a vent I don't know but I have to do something about it but basically this is how it looks cut just goes flush and then if you go on the other side see how this you can't really do anything with it I'm gonna have to cut it and it'll, it'll, it'll look better but right now I'm gonna put the wheel on and get a good look how my wheel my wheels are gonna sit with this kit front is gonna be 18 by 10 and a half plus 15 um, I think I'm gonna run square setup um, with like two inch spacers in the back. So, it yeah, actually fits really, really well. I'm gonna need to go way more lower, but I'm gonna wait until I get tires for this car, for this wheel. That wow, looks really good. Trying to get all the angles. All right, so to cover up this gap, we came with a bumper piece um, which goes like this and this is a ZHP bumper and these things are made for a 3 bumper so I'm thinking about switching uh, to a CSL bumper um, you know with a little hole or, uh, or an M3 bumper but I don't know yet Basically, this is going to look. I'm going to have to do something about this massive gap. I think I'm just going to bundle it. I don't know. Let's see. Alright, so last time we finished on installing this fender and cutting it uh, at the bottom, cutting the sash screw off. Now I will be taking this fender back off and cutting that side skirt off of the flare and installing it again the way it looks right now I think it's a little bit off but it's not a problem if there's holes if those holes don't fit I can just bundle over them and cover them up so let's let's cut the side skirt off
All right, so um, the flare's on, and <clears throat> um, the way it fits over here, I don't know if I like it, because it doesn't give me enough gap right here. And then if you look from the back, it like, I don't know, it's like too close. I feel like the wheel's not gonna fit. So if you come around the other side, what I did, I unbolted right here, and I'm thinking if if I move if I move this out a little bit and build some kind of bracket, I build some kind of bracket or something to make it stick out a little bit more to give me like to give me clearance a little bit out and I feel like it'll look better but I don't know yet I need to get tires for my wheels first to be able to tell or like more but I think I think I wanted to come out a little bit So now, I'm gonna pull the fenders back off. Actually, no. Right now, I'm gonna put the bumper piece on, on both sides, and uh, bolt them, bolt them together, and see what kind of clearance we get. Um, and then after that, I'm gonna pull everything off. I'm gonna mark it. I'm gonna mark everything, all my cuts, with uh, tape or something. And I'm gonna cut my front fenders and my front bumper off. So both of those bumper pieces are on and I guess they could work with a ZHP bumper minus the reflector light and this gap. But uh, you can easily, you know, fix the gap or fill it in or fiberglass it. Besides that, it looks really nice. Really happy with how this kit turns out so far but obviously um, it's been e eBay kit it needs a lot of work stuff like like this for the for the screw hole is like not straight at all and this this edge right here it's not like smooth it's all choppy um, and just just stuff like that and if you walk around those screw holes they're like not perfect either and the edge is crappy this this molding piece is really really messed up too. I don't know. I don't know what to do about it. Maybe, maybe a little bit get rid of it. But I don't know. And I'm definitely thinking about gapping this. I don't know. Leaving is a gap, and then building something underneath here, like from fiberglass, right under the fender. That might look nice. Um, I just need to make this whole edge a little bit smoother. But this game cracked in the mail. Um, there's a there's a plenty of information how to repair it, so I'm gonna have to fix that. And the kit is not really straight. I mean, it has like a lot of weird, like a lot of weird bends 
and like weird <laughs> bumps in it. Yeah, so is this side. This side doesn't even have a spot for a bolt. And this was really, really crappy. And if you look at the line, it's all messed up and it's not straight at all. Just really, really poor quality of this kit. Okay, so I guess next step would be chopping my fenders. Uh, I'm probably gonna use a grinder, just a little cheap Harbor Freight grinder, and got my bumper, got my fender. Most likely, I won't use this bumper, like I already said. Uh, it is cracked right here, so bumper's junk. Um, and those fenders are like. 50 bucks a piece, so even if I mess it up, I could just go to the junkyard and pull one. Last good look before I ruin the car. <laughs> so I put this I put this tape on so I can tell how deep I need to go before it's gonna be visible. So that's what that's for. Anyway. So it's done. Once it's done, I'm gonna have to come up and clean it up with some grinder, like a, on, a, on a sanding pad. And I'm gonna do next side off camera quick, so you guys don't have to watch it twice. So it looks pretty nice. Now I'm gonna turn the wheel left and right and see if it clears or not. So it still hits up front on the on this uh, bracket that holds the bumper. I might get might be able to trim it more without bumper hanging loose and if I can't I guess I'll find the other way to mount the bumper the back 
it still hits the fender liner in there and I put just a socket in here to hold this back a little bit to see if it clears if I uh, if I do build something like this but it seems like even if it goes flash flash with uh, fender they'll still work but I'm still the I'm still most likely I'm gonna do this I'm gonna build a bracket from fiberglass or even metal and bolt it to it this is it this is it for today in the next video I will put the rear fenders on which are ones over there and ones over there but this is going to be the next video thanks for watching